Okay, so in the fogger, I made up about a gallon of our molecular modifier bio um, yeah, enzyme cleaner that we're going to be using today. Um, well, it's an enzyme cleaner slash pre-treatment that we're going to be using here on the carpet. So we're going to be using the this ULV fogger. Um, what's nice about this unit is that you can adjust the end to displace whatever... Um, concentration of chemical coming out of that um, machine that you like. Um, one thing that I like about this over the uh, thermal foggers, if you guys are wondering, um, thermal foggers actually do a really good job with like smoke and fire and that sort of stuff, but they're pretty much a one use type use sort of machines where you have to use this oil based uh, solution through it and you're pretty much just using that stuff. And it is a little bit spendy. What I like about the wet fogger, ULV fogging, is that this particular device or machine um, can use any water-based substance. So um, we're using it to put down our enzyme treatment here on the carpet to go for odor and smell if we're working in an RV or something with uh, a lot of uh, nicotine odor. We can go ahead and use a, an odor side tobacco tobacco side or whatever that product is called we can put that in there and that will treat it um, if we decide that we just want to use like an aroma of some sort like a citrus smelling you know just to give a, a good atmosphere to a room that we've just cleaned instead of just spraying a little bit with a little squirt bottle like a lot of guys do um, sometimes that's enough but you can use this machine and disperse it with this and then again you can get it on the ceilings you know, on the baseboards, all over the place, just so that that, that, that smell, that fragrance gets kind of absorbed all over the place. So it's a little bit more oomph and, and does a little bit better of a job. So that's the reason why I like this machine because it has, it's a lot, it seems to be a lot more versatile than the, uh, than the, the thermal machines, which Again, I'm not knocking the thermal, I'm just saying this is what I like to use it, this particular machine for, and that's why I went with it. Again, this is a Hydromaster one, it's about 100 bucks more than um, the ones that you can pick up at John Don. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same machine, um, it's molded exactly the same, it's got the same parts on it. it, Has literally has the same motor, this one was just more expensive because of the name brand, for the branding of Hydroforce, I believe. But anyways, make sure you're wearing a respirator. Get your wet respirator on uh, before spraying because depending on what you're using, it can be uh, pretty <laughs> bad for breathing. Okay, the thermal fogging is complete, and it already smells much better in here. I didn't use, uh, the product that I used didn't have a real strong odor to it, so it didn't like, sometimes like the odor sides and stuff have a really heavy scent to them, and it's almost intoxicating trying to breathe in an area that you just sprayed because it's so heavy. In here, I can tell it was sprayed but it doesn't have a heavy scent or anything. It just smells fresh and natural in here. So um, what I'm gonna do, um, cause you, you saw me, I sprayed all of the walls, the ceiling up above the baseboards and put a real heavy dose on the carpets. It is pretty wet to the, the touch. So I did put down a lot more than what you would probably typically do perhaps, but I'm just wanting to get this really, really, really clean down here. So um, now that that's been sprayed down there, I'm going to take our CRB back over to do a you know a pretty good agitation in here, just to uh, allow that enzyme treatment just to continue to dwell and eat up um, any of that biomatter that is in the carpeting prior to uh, doing our our regular steam cleaning. 
okay, we just went over everything with the CRV one more time to give good agitation with that bio um, matter, bio break, whatever you want to call it. Um, everybody kind of has a different name for it. I guess bio break is probably a proprietary name that I shouldn't be using. But anyways, it attacks all, it's an enzyme cleaner that it goes ahead and it attacks all of the, uh, the bio matter that is in the carpeting. So even the urine, it's going to attack that. Um, I did notice a ton of urine spots around here. Um, of course, our cleaner that we're going to use has a lot of peroxide and has a high dosage of peroxide in it. So it's basically getting treated for urine as we are doing the cleaning process any, regardless anyways. Um, I do kind of smell it coming back now, um, now that uh, it's had a chance to settle a little bit. Um, right now, it needs a little bit of dwell time to do its thing. Um, this would be a good opportunity to uh, take lunch right now, but um, a little bit early yet for that still. And I've got a few phone calls to make, so I'm going to take a little break, make up some cleaning solution for in here, and make a few calls, and this should be good and ready to go.